Hello everyone, and welcome back to our jungle expedition deep in the South American wilds. And we're here looking over our jaguar jungle, which is looking a little bit more gruesome than usual, but that's just because the jaguars must eat, and they have been doing a good job of doing that. And uh, it looks like our very, very, is this the male or female? Our very beautiful female, Queen Desiree, has actually gone ahead and stepped out of the rain into the temple for just a second. Also, Queen Desiree, you're saying you're out of food enrichment? Is it because you absolutely destroyed the pinata? Like, multiple times, and you have all of this food. All right, she might be really bored with that food enrichment, so we might have to give her some new ones. But all right, my friends, welcome back to the wilds. And today, I wanted to work on a couple different things. I want to go on another expedition in- No, kitty, don't interbreed, for crying out loud. Contraceptives for kitty. Contraceptives, I say. Kelly the second, we don't need that kind of interbreeding nonsense. Thank you very much. Kelly the second is a very healthy llama, so I do probably want to get a few more females just while we can, but we'll worry about that later because that's not what I wanted to work on today. What I wanted to work on first thing today is actually get a new info center in so that more guests can buy some umbrellas on very rainy days like this. And I thought we're going to go ahead and fill in this old moat next to the temple temple train of the golden frog temple because we never really use this moat and we can instead make it look like a really cool little offshoot room so let's see is there anything in here i don't think so so we can go ahead and just fill this moat in and even though it's very dark and hard to see we're going to come in and we're going to add in finally a place for guests to buy things and that means we're gonna have to add in another llama because we'll have a new staff member which is so exciting all right so let's see i want the information booth and we don't have any temple things yet so we're just gonna get a plain info center and we will wiggle it in where can i put it this is about as close as we can get so we'll put this info center down here ta-da very nice uh and then we're going to try to decorate it with all of the temple pieces and we need to name this this is actually going to be uh we'll go ahead and call her temple tour guide megan after one of our patrons megan thank you so much for supporting our pixel biology adventures truly in this time i could not do it without our patrons so thank you so much for all of your help it is really helping me get through a lot uh and look forward to being to being able to create even more adventures with all of you that's very important to me also this archway is amazing oh my gosh we need to find places to add that in that's so cool all right, we need to construct some nice pieces. Let's grab the South American pack around this info spot, which is a very, very popular location, even though literally as we put it down, the rain stops. Why? Okay, we're going to add it to this group. Can I? Dang it, I just want to put this like over her location but it doesn't seem like we can we can put this here though so that's good and then temple wall panel ah here are the temple walls all right so we can get a temple wall here we can get a temple wall here we can go ahead and put one on the back like so excellent that's what i was hoping for and we can even put in some decoration pieces on the sides if we're patient. Can I slip these down here and make them fit in? Maybe, maybe not. Oh man! I totally did not mean to flip that. Interesting. I didn't know there were those buttons. We'll have to play with them in the future. All right, and I hear a jaguars in the background. So cool. Is this a basic, oh, the basic temple shelter. Nice! I would have liked to use that, actually. It's a little big, but how cool would that have been instead? And then we could make, like, a path for people to be able to walk down. Yeah, that would have been really cool. But it still wouldn't have hidden the shop, so that's okay. Alright, let's grab this thing. 
All right, that's the top we're gonna wanna put on. It's very tricky to construct these things, I tell you what. You think it'd be easy, but there's a lot of moving pieces involved. Uh, temple stairs. We have little temple ruin pieces we can put down. Rubble pieces, which I think are very apropos, as my beloved husband, Chips, likes to say. I can't believe we're married now, guys. Like, that didn't happen last week, and this week I'm, I'm suddenly married. <laughs> like, what? Yay! All right, good. It looks like everybody wanted to get some umbrellas. And Megan, welcome! It's very exciting to think that she's going to be a tour guide for the temple. And hopefully sell a whole bunch of the other important things as well. All right, temple wall, decoration panel, temple floor, and we'll put that on top. I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> we'll definitely try to spruce that up. Can I grab like these pieces, for instance? And maybe we can get some nice columns set up at the edges, like so to help decorate. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on making a nice temple shell that we can replicate and put all over. Ooh, I love the ivy that's over here, actually. That we can work on duplicating and putting all over anywhere we need to build some rooms now. All right, let's scoot this over. And put this here. There we go. Maybe I can get another column piece in. What about this one? All right. Very cool. Yeah, see what you can do with a bunch of rocks? I love it. You can just grab a bunch of rocks. The next thing you know, you've got quite the diverse, fun looking temple ruin. So yeah, we will play a lot more with these too because I really like these. Oh geez, our royal frogs are having a ton of babies. But all right, so now we have at least the start of more temple ruins going on here. You have to really appreciate the fact that we have been growing so much for the entire, the entire ruin zone as the expedition team has been able to do even more research and uncover and excavate even more of this ancient land, which is very exciting. All right, let's see. What about, do I want to get this piece? A large temple stone. Hmm. I could maybe slip this piece down in here. To kind of cover that up a little bit more. That looks kind of cool. We'll accept it. Why not? And then we can cover the rest with plants. <laughs> That's always a good plan, right? If you need to fill in some gaps, why not just get a bunch of cool plants and do that. In fact, I'm kind of curious. Let's look at the South American plants and maybe just have a good time. Ooh, some of these orchids. Oh, I love orchids. And then there's little vermilion plants. Oh, and the hanging moss curtain. Come on, who doesn't want to have a cool hanging moss curtain? Oh, I don't even have the trees yet. The Brazil nut tree. Oh, of course I would want a Brazil nut tree. Oh, look at this log. Why don't I have this log down yet? That is a terrible oversight on my part. Of course I want to have that really cool log down. Everybody duck. You're going to have to watch out. It's a perfect log to be able to put a whole bunch of beautiful bromeliads and air plants clinging to it. Oh, we're starting to look really good here, guys. I'm very happy with this. We've even got some large flowers we can sprinkle around the temple. Nice. All right, I didn't expect to get that sidetracked just by adding in one little spot, but there you have it. Also, we need to add in another llama because we have, I mean, we have pregnant llamas, but now we have a new staff member. So we need to make sure that we have a corresponding number of llamas here. And right now we have got Kitty and Colleen, one, two, three, four, five, six llamas. Probably the best option would be to get a, another llama and start another habitat. We do have enough habitat slots, since we can have four habitats per frog temple, that we could start just another llama exhibit over on the side. <laughs> kind of tempted to go ahead and just do that. But for now, we'll put in 
Well, we might need to make this area bigger soon. I wonder how big can the llama herd be? Let's look in the Zoopedia. It can be up to 30 males, up to 30 females. <laughs> and social hierarchy is constantly in flux. So you know what? We have a male llama sitting inside of our... We do have a male llama sitting inside of our storage. So I think we'll go ahead and add him in now. And we'll give him a name. And we'll take the girls off of their contraceptives now that I think the other females, Kelly, yeah, Kelly and Kain are already pregnant. So we're actually going to take lead llama key and we're going to put him on contraceptives now because his mates are now pregnant. And we're going to take the royal princess Kain, make it so that she can have babies, but not with her brother Kelly the second. Thank you very much. And we're going to take, where's my other female? Uh, let's see, Kitty. And we're going to take Kitty and she's also going to potentially be able to mate with this brand new llama. Where is he? There he is. You guys, may I introduce you all to Rox, spelled R-O-X, because Lisa actually asked if we could name someone Roxy, and this is a boy, so we will go ahead and go with Rox, but he has been added in too. And apparently he's getting along fairly decently with the llamas as well, though there's a lot of llama poop. So let's go ahead and assign a keeper, maybe Ancient Ruins Researcher, yeah, our Ancient Ruins researcher. We'll go ahead and assign her because I think she... No, Botanist Bethany was the first one to actually join us. All right, Botanist Bethany, we're finally going to create our very first work zone. These, these two animals, this shop, and these buildings. There we go. This is going to become the llama pen and I included the frogs just because I don't know if she'll always have things to do in the llama pen uh, so that's going to be the llama pen and we're going to assign our very first person botanist Bethany to llama pen and see how that works out so hopefully she'll be able to maintain this area better but all right so now we have a new llama to head off for our new Megan who is taking good care of the info area. Soon we're going to need to start to add in places for everybody to eat and drink, but there need to be enough creatures for them to admire and enjoy, right? So let's go on another expedition. Time to go through the frogs. You guys ready for this? All right, we're gonna sort through all of the frogs. Royal Frog Simone, I think is the only one still alive. And let's see if we have any... Oh, we've got a lot of gold ones! Yes! We're gonna grab Royal Tree Frog Simone. She's actually getting pretty old, so let's get a new Royal Tree Frog. We'll get two of the gold females. We'll put them on in. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, if we release Royal Tree Frog Simone. <laughs> five tree frogs. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and see if we have more golden tree frogs to help us piece together the fragments of a lost map that will take us deep into the jungle on an expedition where we will hopefully find more of the animals we need. Oh, there's a lot of frogs over here too. All right, so we yanked all those guys as well. I think we'll go ahead, Patricia. Let me add this male actually. Sin to zoo this male okay we have one male there um i'll go ahead and keep at least one low level female with him right now and then the thing is we're getting a lot of related frogs let's sell all of the low level frogs real quick so i can see who we're working with selling these frogs of course represents the fact that we are gathering even more data on this expedition and getting lots of research funding uh francesca and royal frog sasha We'll go ahead and retire in froggy happiness to a lovely pond somewhere. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
Nine royal frogs. That's enough to guarantee a royal frog from the animal trading center, uh, which I'm not going to peek until we decide if we're going to do that, and give us possibly another new frog or another random animal, depending. So you know what? Let's go ahead, since there's nine, let's take a risk with three of them. I'm going to do it. We're going to take a risk with three of them and have only half of the map, three out of six pieces that we need and we're going to go search for a tree frog, a brand new red eye tree frog to add in new genes. Uh, but of course, the golden royal genes to our group. Let's try this. Okay, time to roll the dice. If it's a one through three, we get to get a tree frog from the animal trading. If it's not, we have to roll to see what animal we just found deep in the expedition wilds. Pouring rain, crashing down upon our... Or, oh, we can't even see. Crashing down upon our biologists as they push their way down the mountain on the backs of llamas. And it's a four. We did not find a tree frog. <laughs> we did not find a tree frog. This is not a drill. We found something else. <laughs> Just like the hyenas, we have found something else. I will go ahead and uh, we will now roll. Give me just a second, guys, because I'm going to have to... Here, we'll look at the hyenas while I do this. <laughs> but I am going to have to see what we just found, because it is not a frog. Okay, where's my animal list? I was so confident that it would be a frog, I actually didn't even pull up the animal list. So of the 85 other animals that we could potentially find, for some reason, hiding in the jungle, we have just discovered... Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, an Amazonian giant centipede. <laughs> ah, well, I mean, that's okay. It's probably okay to find an Amazonian giant centipede. Um, you know, it, it'll, it'll, it, I, it's a thing, all right. It's a thing, all right. So, all right, guys, now we can go ahead and put down maybe another one of these little, you know what, we'll put together one of these little habitat things. Let's grab all of this. The whole kit and caboodle. Let's see, can I just select without taking the whole temple? And then add a few of these pieces together. There we go, 13. Just a nice mixed selection of plants. Let's merge that into a group. And can I just duplicate all of that? Nice! I don't want the shop, though. So I need to back it up one. And we don't want the shop, but we want everything else. And we'll just start editing and carefully copying this little design that we have created. There we go. We'll get the top. I think I have... Yeah, I have that. What happens if I copy that? No, I said I didn't want the shop. I didn't want the shop. <laughs> oh, well. All right, and we'll add in a Amazonian centipede over here. And that will make for one, two, three habitats. In fact, we could add an Amazonian giant centipede up here. And push into the mountain somehow so that people can go ahead and see the centipede. Uh, that'll do. Let me push this down. Whoa, I can't see anything. And get rid of that shop really quickly so that we just have the shell. Merge scenery into group. Then we can move it around. And we'll put the centipede over here because I was trying to figure out what we would put over here anyway. And why not start with an Amazonian giant centipede? There we go. I really need to get more places to add in more frogs too. Because if we had more frogs, we could get a lot more things on the expedition. And eventually, we're going to be able to have enough frogs that we'll never have to worry about being able to get more creatures on expedition. I'm pretty confident about that. Alright, let's grab this. Duplicate it. I can't see! You guys know what that means. It's butterfly time. Whoops. Alright. There. There. Now, oh my gosh, we made a huge cave! No wonder I can't see. I unintentionally made a gigantic cave. And 
I didn't mean to make it this big. Oh my gosh. Look what the butterflies have exposed. What chaos did I rot like upon this land? I had no idea that we did this. That's kind of hilarious that I didn't even know what we did. And now that we've added in some butterflies, I can see that, um, whoops. These can be representatives of some sort of gigantic cave butterfly, which I'm sure Chips would find absolutely terrifying as he does not like butterflies. All right, interesting. Interesting set of circumstances. Didn't mean to do that. We'll deal with it. All right, come along, little small exhibit. Totally did not mean to get an Amazonian giant centipede. I thought we'd get something a little fancier, but this will do. There we go. And it is kind of nice because then, oh, we can maybe make it like a nice cave exhibit. Because people can come down and we'll turn it into like a cool cave area. All right, rustic path. Whoops. Rustic path down, down. Now people will wiggle in here. And there we go. There. Oh, that's really pretty with the cave. Oh, that, you know, every time, like, we get that beautiful sunlight, it just makes me want to get into here and push our way through. Give me sun! Yes! Oh, that's so cool! I mean, if I had lived here all these ages ago, this is exactly what I would have done. Pushed my way through, carved my way through the mountains, and sculpted the land itself to be able to celebrate the sun. So there we go. We've got a little bit of sun coming in on this side. That makes me happy now. All right, so what else can I do back here? Well, I need to move these butterflies now so that they'll still be on the roof. There we go. And it's not the most thrilling thing in the world, but now we do need to officially grab ourselves a Amazonian giant centipede. All right, where's our species? Amazonian giant centipede. I'll grab the fanciest one. We'll go ahead and plunk her down in here. And then we'll come on over and make sure that she is comfy. And we'll get our biologist starting to study her. There we go. But you know what? That's half the fun. So we're going to have a little cave centipede. There we go. And what do we name her? Let's go ahead and randomize. I think that she's really cute. And we're going to go ahead and name her Shikina. There we go. Shikina. There. And she can attract her own a little bit of attention. I think that that's very important. And we've actually counted that as a, adopting a new exhibit species. Also very important. And hopefully our keepers who are getting really exhausted <laughs> will be able to come up and check out what she's doing. All right. We'll see if we can grab a couple more things to decorate her area. We will get our researcher researching so that we can get more information about the Amazonian cave centipede. And who knows, maybe this is just the beginning of being able to really get deep into the cave system and start figuring out what we're going to be doing. Can I have these like always stay on? Oh wait, do those butterflies just not have, no, they should have energy. They just go off at night. But this could be a really fun way to start to explore the cave area. That's why I really love just seeing where our random adventures will take us because we truly do not know. All right, my friends, let's grab a donation box just in case anyone feels kindly towards our centipede. And I wonder, can I get more lights that will like stay lit up during the day? Because I would appreciate that a lot. <laughs> If I could actually like see where we're going, that'd be kind of nice. That doesn't really light anything up. Um, I wonder, these lamps don't really light anything up. I wonder if you just have to wait 
until oh look at the honey ant oh that's really cool i love that honey ant does that have a lamp in it i love it we're gonna have to play with that wall lamps let's see yeah if these don't light up during the day then our cave is going to be very dark all the time i'll have to check that out maybe there's something that we can do to make this look a little nicer but all right so centipede unexpected but you know what we can actually go ahead and do i think i just saw that our frogs gave birth oh we were waiting for a good male for those two oh i'm letting their life slip through our fingers all right let's grab these guys send them to the trade center exhibit trading animal storage let's grab one backup male because i'm getting a little nervous now one backup like red eye tree frog male but we have one two three four five six all right let's not overthink this guys we're gonna do this we're gonna sell one two three four five six we now have all of the pieces of the map to go forth we sold them ah! and to find the red eye tree frog there we go and they're females oh and a good male okay there so we were able to find one red eye tree frog male because we found the six pieces of the map from basically selling six of the golden frogs and it's a new male so we can add him right in here fantastic there we go and we'll grab which male okay we'll grab the male who is not the royal tree frog this guy or who is the golden frog and we'll just save him in the trade center until we either use him to find more pieces of a map or we go ahead and we um we add him in a few generations down the line <laughs> we'll put him on ice add him in a few generations down the line so that we don't have more inbreeding all right let's go ahead and we're gonna snuggle on in with our frogs and name them now we're actually going to name this female royal frog sun and the other female royal frog moon because sun and moon sisters royal frog moon your name just came up on the random generator and i kind of love the idea that these two are sisters and they're both the royal frogs so we're going to definitely use that name and then we're going to name this male royal frog quiet after the quiet hand i love that name very good name and then we're gonna come over and name these frogs we've got so many people here almost a thousand people and we only have like three exhibits it's sort of amazing we really oh we could make this tunnel connect over here of course see it was meant to be i love this and we're gonna name these frogs right over here the female is going to be Nymphadora. There we go. Royal Frog Nymphadora. Oh wait, she should not be in here. Sorry Nymphadora, you're actually going to go to the Trade Center. And we're going to get Royal Frog Simone in here. There we go. And we're going to release this frog. Her fertility is zero, so we would have had no new tree frogs and I would have been like, what just happened here? And Pascola, thankfully, your genetics are quite good. And actually, thankfully, Duskmoon, you had a second name for a male. So this is going to be Royal Frog Seville. Excellent. Phew. All right. Well, that's done. Our guest numbers have just exceeded 700. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea what we're going to do with all of these people. But we're going to have to just continue expanding and exploring. <gasps> More hyena babies! Expanding and exploring to see what is going to be happening throughout our adventures so if you guys could do please leave a like for our amazing animals on our jungle expedition things are definitely getting very very interesting indeed if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i will see you guys next time when we start playing with another one of the adorable little hyena cubs oh my gosh bye guys